All right, hi guys. Um, just going to do a demonstration of spillage testing. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to spillage test this indoor uh, ream hot water cylinder. Uh, so we're going to check the flue, make sure that it's actually pulling. There's draft on the flue. We've let it warm up for about five minutes to raise the temperature of the flue uh, because when it's cold, the hot air going up can potentially stall a bit against the cold surface. Uh, so we've let it warm up, it's been running for about five minutes. Uh, we're then going to go up here next to the downdraft diverter. I'm going to light this um, smoke match. We're going to make sure that it's actually drawing in the smoke, which means it's drawing in the air and the flue gas is uh, travelling outside of the building rather than coming back down, interfering with the flame, causing vitiation and um, potentially causing carbon monoxide. So it's a check, safety check. Um, this should be done under Worst case scenario, so windows and doors closed, um, any internal extracts turned on. Uh, so we're basically we're trying to make it fail, uh, but hoping that it won't, so we don't have to put in extra ventilation. Uh, this is required even if um, your ventilation calculations say you don't need ventilation, because if it fails the spillage test, you're gonna have to put it in anyway. So let's go ahead and do it, get up in position. So we're going to light the match. So this is a, a proper smoke match. You can buy them from oops, Combust Control. Places like that. So I'm just going to move around. Sorry, you need to see it. So it's looking pretty good. See, so I pulled it out of the room. That wasn't the best option. So you can actually see that it's drawing in pretty successfully there. It's run out of smoke. So really you want to work your way around the whole thing, make sure it's okay. It was a bit awkward for me doing it there with the camera. Um, and just make sure that it's drawing in. If it's coming back, so if you actually get downdraft, you might get a quick gust of wind or something that affects it and you get a, a split second downdraft. Uh, that's okay, provided it goes back to drawing again. So you can get that. The terminal, if it's positioned properly, should minimise that. Um, but if it's actually coming out or just going straight up, not getting drawn in, then that would be a fail and uh, we'd have to look to increase the ventilation. Um, you can work out how much you'd need by opening a window in, in the vicinity and opening it, pre-checking it to the point where it's functioning again and that will sort of guide you to how much, what size openings you require. Um, that's about it. I think. Any questions? Good class shot there, well done.